video I would be sharing how to install MongoDB in Windows system. MongoDB is the NoSQL based database and it is quite fast and quite easy to use kind of database and it's quite easy to install as well. To install it, uh, if you go to the MongoDB website, just say try for free and then you don't have to do the MongoDB Atlas, go to the server and we want the community server and then just simply either select MSI or zip. So I am showing the zip version. Select the zip and download. Once your download would be done, it would be installed in a zip file. What you have to do is extract the zip file and then this folder would have our binary files. What I have to do next is I just say mongodb and we are done. I will take the file and I will place it in my C drive wherever you want and in this C drive I have the bin folder and I update my environment variables. So for the machine and for the system. So I would be changing the system path new and done. So once I have set my environment variable I can just simply go on any place and check if I have mongo. So yeah it is able to find it. So right now it would throw an error. Now what I have to do is we have to first before using the mongo client we have to actually start the server. To start the server the command is very simple. You have to say mongo d and once you do so this is kind of an error which I am expecting and the error is I have to define the data path. I will show, show yeah here. So it says not found right. So what I have to do is I come to my local system here or wherever you want to have but, but just for the ease of use you create a data folder and say db folder inside it and now if I run it it would be able to start the server for me. Now the server is started. Now let's do some preliminary programming so that we can confirm we have installed it correctly. So in python you have a pymongo module or a library which helps you on do working with the mongodb server in python using python. So I import so I do not have it. So what I have to do is so I have to use the command pip install pymongo. So install now if I import yeah it's red ready. So now to start with the pymongo or to connect with the database you have to import the mongo client and once you initialize the mongo client if it is empty by default takes local host and the default uh, port on which MongoDB works is 27017. So I connected with it. Now if I check if I have any database created in the MongoDB. So there is none. It's admin config global. These are the by default. To define a database you have to define it either using dot or either using block brackets and the name of the database. So I can also do client dot mpg database or, or any any way. But but I prefer this way more because it allows me to have spaces or underscore or anything better. And also once I have once even if I execute this particular command I won't have any database created until unless I feed some value into the database. So this is the precursor for the MongoDB. MongoDB behaves or they use the term lazy. Uh, so until unless there is some data inserted it won't create that database or table inside the mongodb database. Now once I have created my database through this command I have to run it and assign a table to it. So similarly I assign a database to the mongodb server. Now I assign a table to this particular database. So collection D. So tables are called as collection in mongodb or NoSQL environment. Now I have just created a dummy data here which is which looks like this. Now if I have to insert the particular data so the command is table name dot or the collection name dot insert one we are inserting one row and the values which is a JSON dictionary. So if I do it I save that particular operation in a pp variable and if I check what are the parameters available or attributes available so it says acknowledge so I have the acknowledge true it means we have our data is inserted correctly from the database in the database 
and we got the acknowledgement from the database and it also gives us what is the id for that particular insert operation similarly now if i have to check the database created then the simple command is list of connection names and it gives me the table name which we created also if i go and check the previous command where i was checking the existing database names so i got my database which i created right now we have the table which we created now if i have to select the first row i just simply say find one and i got my values and similarly i can have a loop by using dot find command which is more of a kind of select star and it get every element from the database for you and then you can add many attributes or commands to the returned value from dot find and you can also have a dot count and there are many more okay so this is a very small introduction about the mongodb and a small introduction of confirming whether how we have done the installation correctly or not i hope you got the mongodb small intro and at the end of the video same same lines if you like my videos please consider subscribing to my channel it would motivate me to keep producing more contents like this and if you have something interesting which you want to share or which you want me to share just feel free to comment on the comment videos i would try to make some videos of it and maybe share with you all thank you and have a great day